of that same knowledge to expand the search. The Boolean and wild cards are a really good way to do that. The wild cards can be very helpful in making sure you're pulling in all of the different conjugations of a verb, for example. These Boolean modifiers that we're looking at here, these are the and, or, and the not. These are the most common Boolean modifiers that you see and the examples of uh, how those work is here apple and pear, that would only give you a document that contained both of the wor those words. An or situation would only return documents that contain the words apple or pear, not just apple by itself. And then the not apple, not pear, that's going to give you the documents that only have the word apple and not the word pear. You can use parentheses to combine these into really complex strings. I've seen strings that are three or four lines long, and they're just proximity searches, Boolean search, wild cards, everything is sort of embedded together. If you're looking for something super specific and you you get good at uh, building your, your phrases, those can be really helpful to find something that's, that's very, very specific. Your client is saying, I know that he said this sometime in 2013, can filter to 2013 and get a very specific search string going and, and you might be able to find it very quickly versus reading everything from 2013. So talking about wild cards, wild cards can be important for uh, for different verb endings like I uh, mentioned before. Um, the single character wild card here is when you're looking for something like uh, apply or apple. Um, those can be used it, it also with the wild card in the middle of, uh, of a word. So you're looking for something very specific. I don't see them using the single wild card very often, but it can be helpful in certain instances. Typically what we see is this multi-character wild card, which is the asterisk that can be used to find any document that contains a word with APPL and then any number of characters after that. So that helps with uh, different tenses, conjugation. And then also if you're looking for contract, construct, anything like that. Anything that starts with those same X amount of letters will return results for you to look over and see if you care about them. <laughs>